Welcome back, you mad keen fish host. Today's episode, I found a little barramundi honey hole. Holy crap. So much fun, guys. Didn't even use the prawn lure, used the BCT minnow, the little mini minnow. If you do want some of these lures, guys, links down in the description, guys. With today's economy, the price of living these days, these are the lures you want. Good, affordable lures. So, oh, a little catch and cook for you too, guys. Plain and simple. Hope you enjoy the episode. Till next time, keep your lines tight. Just found this nice deep hole. There's a whole heap of herring everywhere, bait all around us, and it did look like a few fish on the sounder. There's even a few fish behind me because there's a big sandbar in front of me just here on the low tide. So I'm just gonna pepper along here for a little while, get inside these snags. Hopefully, come up with the goods. Gotcha. Oh! Straight up. What the hell is this? Let me get the electric out. Bit of run on him. What have we got a nice cod or something? Oh, a little bazzy. Didn't even realize it was a little bazzy. I thought it was a jack or something. Oh! That keeps buffing over there. And I've got a bazzy here. Just spot lock. Don't even have the landing net ready. Well, I might be able to just lift him in. He's in the corner of the mouth there, so... Don't jump, please. Don't go just it. Come on, I've got the leader. In you come. Oh, he's just under size, I reckon. First little bazzy for the morning. Not a bad little size to him. He is under. And I am keeping the fish today. So maybe only just two or three, two barras and maybe a couple of, one or two cod or jack. There he is. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yep, we'll get you back in the water quick. Oh, I'll just put a measuring stick on you quick. To see what I think you're going, you're gonna go 55, I reckon. Oh, dude, I'll let you go, trust me. 51. There you go, even smaller than I thought. Quick, go back in, mate. Quick, shrink. How good's that? Straight off the bat. Gotcha again. Oh, another little bazzy. Oh, he's jumpy one. Oh, it'd be close to legal, maybe. And yet again, I don't have the landing net ready. Nah, maybe another 55. Easy 55. Oh, I'd be pushing 56. No, 55 for sure. I'll have to chop that leader down, that's for sure. Look at it. Chop the leader back. Where do I get him? Right in the corner. Little BCT minnow. Good little hooks on them too. They don't seem to straighten as quick. I think they got got um, TT hooks on them. So guys, if you want interested in some good, affordable lures, mate, with today's living crisis, 
I suggest that you go on to bctfishing.com. Let's get you going. Get you back in there quick so you're not so you're happy. There you go. Off you go, buddy. Number two. Watch again. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, I had to thumb it. I've got to thumb him. He's in the snag. Oh, no, he's in the snag. Get out of that snag. Yes, got you out. He's a legal one. He's much better. I need that link. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no. I thumbed it, so I probably ripped his bloody lip a bit. Oh, the hook didn't straighten after thumbing it. He was a legal barra. Are they sitting under there or something? Oh, what did I just do that? Too eager. I should have loosened up a little bit after I got him out. Chicken. Oh, there's heaps of barras in there. Little barra hole. Wish I got that legal one, but oh, he might be close. I gotta get this landing net ready. That's what I need to do. Get the landing net. I don't even have the landing net ready. Feisty too. Feisty as hell. Give me another 55. Damn it. That other one was bigger. I'll check him anyway. God damn it. That one I had earlier was bigger. It was an easy 60, that other one. What have I got? 54. Damn it. He wasn't coming off anyway. Corner of the gob. Oh, I think he just got me on the side gill. Cut me? No, he only got me butt. Let him go, I'll fix this up later. Oh, buddy, oi, 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 54, I need another. Oh my God. Taking off like a bloody jack. Go check it. Oh, this one's, he's little. He's ain't little. I don't feel the big weight on him. Yep, another little one. Damn it. Give me a legal one. Today's the day I want to take them home. Good fun though. Can't can't go wrong. Much fun they are. Jumping around. Plenty of go on them, these little fellas, that's for sure. Maybe 50 this one. Right, 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 right. Don't need the landing net for you. I'm not even going to measure this one because I know he's under like the other ones. Just try and get him back in as quick as possible if he doesn't flick around a notch. Hoja! See ya! Gotcha again. Oh, he's a better one. Oh, mate, yeah, he might be better. Get over here. Oh, he just took off hard at the start. Oh, no, maybe. Oh, he'll be close. He'll be close. He's going to be close. So I'm going to land him. Quickly. If he lets me. Yes, he's going to be close. Very close. You could be dinner. Come on, be dinner. Nah, look at that, no chance. 
Oh, he's only 55. God. Man. He feels bigger. But he's not. There's a big sandbar just in front of me here. And what, what's happening is there's a lot of bait on that sandbar. And I've got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of fish sitting in front of the sandbar waiting for the bait because the tide is going out waiting for the bait to come off off the sandbar and then they start feeding so let's hopefully come up some goods i'm just going to throw in front of the sandbar and just bring the lure back towards me i'll just try a slow retrieve first before i hop it off the bottom Gotcha. I don't know what that is. He's swimming towards me anyway. What have we got here? Little grunner. Oh, what's that? What's that with it? Is that a cod? The big cod. Cheeky bastard trying to get the lure out of his mouth. Go on. Double hook up. <laughs> oh, he tried. I think he just tried then. No. Anyway, ground is too small and feisty, as they always are. See ya. Badunk. Gotcha. Oh, another grunner or a trevor. Might be another little grunner or a cod. Oh, he's got a little bit of spin on him. Cod. Oh, he might be a legal size too, actually. So I might even keep him. Let's measure him up. 38 they got to be. Dude, settle down. Don't make me get the lip grips. That just fell out. Just fell straight out. Yeah, he's 40, 42. Right, first fish going into the esky. Because I want to try a bit of cod. People throw them back all the time and don't like them because you catch a lot of them, but they're actually really good eating fish, so. Let's uh, do the deed. Put the slimy little monkey in the esky, I think. All right, I'll get back to you. Ooh, oh my God. What the hell? I was just about to pull it into the boat. What the hell is this? Is it a barra? You come up hard for it then. Got a little bit of weight on him. I'll loosen this drag. What is it? It is a barra. Wowzers. It might be a legal barra. Oh yeah. Get the landing net ready. I was not ready for that. I was just about to pull the lure into the boat. Just started reeling it in. He hasn't even jumped. This could be my legal bar. Oh, get away from that electric. Come on, come on, come on. Get that landing net ready, that's what I need. Uh, here we go, I'm ready. You ready, bar? Oh, come on, scoop you up. Yes, look at that. Solid little bar. Man, he took me by surprise. I was just bouncing off the bottom here and I just started reeling in. Bang. You beauty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's 60 all right, 62 and a half, yes, got me legal bar for today, got some tucker, 
So stoked with that guys, finally got a legal barra. Been catching all the little ones all this morning and I got a nice cod. But I'm so stoked with this one. Cause today's the day I'm keeping the fish cause the freeze is empty so how good is that? Gotcha. Oh yeah. Oh, got to get him out of that snag. Get out of that snag. Oh, come on, darling. That's a buzzy. He'll be undersized, but he'll be just under. He'll be another 50 centimetre, even less. Oh, where's the little fellas, eh? Greediest ones of them all, I reckon. I think the big ones would be greedy, but they're not. The little ones are the greediest. Oh my god, how many barra can I get? Beautiful. Off we go. She's working. Good chicken. Another small one. Oh, it felt like he just grew up a little bit. Oh, it's so hard getting him out of these snags. There's so many down there. Oh, he might be just legal. Nah, he'd be under. He'd be 55. Oh, I'm gonna hate it if I hit one of those big ones down there. Oh, look at that, just fell out. I think he even straightened the hook from the weight. Solid little bassy. Oh, come on, dude. Should I measure that one? Mmm, be 50, 52 or something. Oh, mate. See you later. I think he straightened my hook. Or did he? No, he didn't. Look, that. Look how strong these little hooks are. Unbelievable. Right, I've just come right out the mouth of this creek. It's basically going to be landlocking me soon, but I just want to snag bash the front bank because it looks pretty good. There is a lot of bait around, which I'm a bit worried about. So I'm hoping that doesn't interfere too much. Sometimes too much bait's just not a good thing, so let's hope. I might get a couple of jacks or something, I'm hoping. Oh, straight away, first cast. Oh, that's a little trev. No, I did think I seen, oh no, what's that, a little cod, a little cod, god, it might turn out alright actually, hey, 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 there you go, orange spot, that did not take long at all, oh my god, that is cast. Gotcha. Ooh. Oh my god, that's Trevally. Wowzers. A big Trev. Big Trev. Just slow up a little bit. I don't want to straighten this hook. Oh, he's going to put up a fight and a half, this one. I seen the Trev come up. He come up on the side and I see him. Come on, dude. We'll just spot lock here. Oh, Trevor, Trevor. Oh, come on. God damn, it's a doing go. I don't want to tighten the drag too much. I don't want to straighten the hook. Oh my God. Come on, this guy. He's not a bad size, actually. Around the 50 centimetre mark or something. It's going to the back of the boat, you see. I'll see if I can turn you. No, I'm not turning him. He's doing a loop de loo. Come on, dude. Which side do you want to go? This side? We can go this side. Maybe not. He's hitting the motor. Don't hit the motor. Dude. 
come to the back of the boat now. Just for you. Drag me to the back of the boat. Oh, I'm going back up the front again. Oh my God. Come on, Trev. Don't be an asshole. I can't even bring him up. Right, I'm thumbing ya. I'm sick of fighting ya. Oh, I can imagine what those guys do out at the reef when they get those big ones. The size of it. Not a bad size, actually. Let's see if we can lift in. Look at that, guys. Imagine getting one of those 30, 40 kilo ones. Hey, corner of the mouth comes straight off. Look at that. You gotta watch the back of their tails, they get a bit sharp. Look what he's been eating. Look at that, solid little Trev. Righto, shoot you back in, buddy. Go. Oh, didn't really shoot you too well, did I? Uh, the minnow there, look oh, he's eating, eating the same stuff. Look at that. Right, next mission guys, crab pots, didn't get any crabs, but I'm gonna go for a good um, adventure right up this creek and see what comes of it. I haven't been up here for a long time, so we did used to get a few right up the back, so I might go right at the back for a look, check it out. So come join me guys, let's check it out. guys so what i'm going to do first i've got to fillet this cod i'm only going to fillet one side of this cod because i've only want it for a sandwich a bit of lunch that's all i'm going to do cod's probably one of the most underrated estuary fish to eat because they are really good eating fish so here we go fill it fill it any old way you know how to fill it and then we got to skin it after we skinned it We'll give it a bloody good wash. And now it's ready to fry. Right, here we go, guys. Just simple, basic sandwich. I wanted to cook a crab on the fire, but that's not happening today. So, well, look at basically, I've got a leftover barbecue sauce from one of the servo meals I get. I'll we'll save one. Buttered bread. I got the cod. I just filleted it. One side of it. I only did one side of the cod. So all I need to do Nors I brought as well. Just a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and cheese, guys. That's all I did, and it is such a good meal just to have those kind of a fish sandwich while you're out. It's, I love them. So here we go. We get the frying pan ready. Grab the oil out, and we'll go for it. The old cod goes in the frying pan. She's gonna sizzle. Oh, listen to that! Isn't that beautiful? I thought I had a fork somewhere, actually. Might be in the magic bag down the bottom here. There it is. Bloody fork. The bread's all buttered. Lettuce is ready to go. Tomatoes chopped up. Got a bit of cheese. Got a bit of barbecue sauce. Honestly, guys, what more do you want? 
I really wanted to cook some crab today, but I haven't haven't got any on the bloody crab pot. So, but that's all right. Oh, that's a bit extra, different barbecue sauce. It's not not really the barbecue sauce I like. So, here we go. Right up the creek here, just in the middle of nowhere, out of the wind. Ready to rock and roll. Honestly, guys. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of S3 Cod? I think it's one of the awesome, it's a great eating fish. I just, people don't like filling in because they're very slimy. That's the only reason I think they don't like keeping them. But apart from that guys, I think it's great. Look at that guys, how good is that, hey? Can't go wrong with that, that's for sure. Loving it. Beautiful. Oh, honestly guys. I like fancy food sometimes, but this, this, it's a straightforward guys. S3 Cod 2 tastes great. Right, <clears throat> plan of attack. I just had some lunch, so it was really good, as you see. But I did I did sand her up right up the creek. The water temp's 23.6, but I just couldn't find anything, you know, that's intriguing, you could say. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back to the spot this morning and have a crack at those guys and i'm going to go out the front and check out around the front a lot more really sound that out and give the front a bit of a crack on the low tide i think the low tide out the front is going to be really good so back to the first spot then back out the front and then i think it's home time guys so let's do it back out the front See if I can sneak through that little narrow gap. I should be right. I hope I'll be right. We'll find out. Let's go. Motor's trimmed up. Eighty centimeters, sixty centimeters, seventy. We good. Right, I want to fish this little spot anyway, so I'll drop the electric and get into it. Gotcha. I finally got one. Oh, he's not a bad one either. He's going to the back of the boat. Oh, yes. There's a snag down there. I've got to be careful of it. Come out and them open. Oh yes. It'd be legal. It'd be 60. Come out this side. And you can play as much as you want. There you go. Now you can play. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I hate when they jump towards you. Might let land this quick. Get him in, get him in. Oh yes. That turn of the tide, guys. I knew they were in there. 
He's a solid one. Look at him go. He'd be 60 something for sure. Chafed all my leader up. Quick measure. Get back in there. Get that leader line done. There you go, 65 guys. That's beautiful. Awesome. To get you. Where do you where'd he go? Oh, it's in there. In his guts. Oh no, just on the gills. Or was it in his guts? There you go. Now that chafed up. And they swallow it like that. Look how chafed that up. That is that is just chewed up to bits. Rightio. Bleed him and get him in the esky. We'll, I'll be right back. Got you again. Another one. He's just under two. Oh, he'll be just under. God, there's bigger ones down there. What are these little ones doing? Get out of here. Put you straight back. Let's just look straight out. Oh. The gills just got me again. Right, another buzzy, around 50 centimetre. Gotcha, another one. What's he like? Oh, he might have been legal too. My soft's, my soft's gone, there it is. Get it back, get it back. I need you back, buddy. So, I'm going to put the orange one on, see how it goes. And hopefully, she loves it. That's what they, exactly what they want, I'm hoping. Gotcha. Oh, he's a little fella. God, he launched, though. Did he launch? What's that? Got it off. Oh, don't spike me. I've been spiked enough today. Off you go. Gotcha. Something else. Not a barrel. Oh, it is a barrel. It's probably legal. Holy crap. Didn't feel very big at the start. No, he's under. He's under size. Yeah, I'll, I'll land him anyway. I'll land him anyway, just in case. Oh, it seems pretty big. Ish. Engulfed again. These guys are hungry, you can tell they're swallowing the whole bloody thing. Nah, he's under. He's gotta be. Dude. I just can't grab him with my left arm, eh? Hey? Dude. I might just put a stick on him. See what happens. Just a quick one. Uh, 55. Well, I'm calling it at the end of the day, guys. I had so much fun. Didn't use the prawn lure. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Until next time, I'm out.